Day five of Canada August trip on Eagle Lake and muskies can kiss my ass. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian. I hurt everywhere. And you're watching Angling Anarchy. Uh, my buddy Louie and I, in the back there, we're up in uh, Canada fishing Eagle Lake for muskies. The first two days were absolutely fantastic. Just amazing fishing for me, not for anybody else. But uh, we'll take it. Uh, the last two days have been terrible. Uh, in fact, I think yesterday was the first day since I started filming that I didn't keep any of the footage that I had because it was just a wretched, terrible day. Uh, but we're gonna hope that today is better. Uh, we've got the full moon tomorrow. We've got really good conditions, which is why it's kind of dark right now. Um, I think it's just about time that we can start casting here on Eagle Lake because it's half hour before sunrise, half hour after sunset. So uh, we are gonna get to casting here and see if we can't make one of these things eat because they sure as heck haven't the last two days. All right, now that we've got some light to work with, uh, I'll show you what we're using. I've got this beat up old Killer Corn Esox Assault Double Eight that I love throwing. This is an old one. Uh, I've got it on a Surgical Strike 9 foot, 2020 with a Tranks 400 and Finn's 80 pound XS line. Love this stuff. It's been working really nice this season. Louie's throwing a single nine Killer Corn just because Killer Corn is a awesome color out here on Eagle Lake. We're gonna see if we can get something to hit it. I just not trying to walk around fancy. You gotta be shit. There we go. Oh Gosh darn it, Brian. <sighs> he had he almost had it three times. And then yeah, I just I should have I should have sat back and he kind of surprised me right in front here and I I messed that up. That was a decent fish. That wasn't a bad one. Did he actually bite it? Oh dude, it was in his mouth. I pulled it right out. Oh. I pulled it straight out. I did exactly what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> Oh, man, dude, that hurts so hard after not catching anything for two days. God, mother, oh, dude, like I'm. Mm. All right, ladies and gents, uh, that was a rough morning uh, to pile on of our rough last two days. Um, had a shot at that one, and then I think we. <laughs> might have seen one other. We really spent the rest of the morning uh, trying to catch pike uh, to eat for fish fries and to take home. So that's how this morning went. And uh, so yeah, we're uh, rested up. We're gonna see what we can do about uh, getting one of these stupid things to hit. It's been really rough though. Um, even just talking to other guys uh, fishing in the camp, some guides on the lake, it has been a rough last couple days. Uh, the fact that I got as many as I did the first two days we were here is uh, almost seems a miracle talking to everybody else. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to wait these things out until they decide to eat. We've got the full moon tomorrow, I believe. So hopefully that'll get things moving. But as you can see, Eagle Lake is a sheet of glass right now, which does not happen that often. Um, and of course the sun's out, we could definitely use some overcast, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna hit some weeds, rocks, bounce back and forth and just see if we can find some fish that are willing to bite. All right, Medusa. My armpit is a little sore. So we're gonna change it up. We're gonna give him something a little different. Here, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah.
man, he was not having it. Came close. I saw him right out to, do you see him? Yeah, yeah. I saw him right here. Yeah. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there? Yeah. He finally took off. You know, it's always, oh, you should put it under the water. Well, clearly he did not like that. No. What are you but supposed to do? You know? that, well, then there are times that that works, though. It's like 50-50 chance I'm wrong 75% of the time. This was probably one of the best days weather-wise we had on this trip. And it was going right into the full moon. And what you just saw is all that happened. Do I wish every day could have something like this happen? Got him, got him. Followed up with something like this. Jeez, she's got an attitude. Oh, goodness. That's a, that, cow, that's, a, that's a big fish, boys. Yeah, yeah. That is a beautiful one. What a gorgeous eagle like muskie. Absolutely. But even when you have those days that all the magazines says are going to be perfect and you've got a, the day in front of the full moon, Eagle Lake just finds a way to kick your butt even when you have the conditions that you wanted and hoped for all year. Like I would pay extra money every day to have conditions like we had today and they just were not working for us. So I guess what I want you guys to take out of this and I, you know, I don't enjoy having these videos with no catches, but I think they're important to put out there because you know, you don't go out there and knock it out of the park every time. Basically you just have to throw everything out the window because we spent half the day doing again what you're supposed to do what what all the magazines say you're supposed to do and it just was absolutely not working for us and we did everything we could we threw everything we had at Eagle Lake and it just snubbed its nose at us and we could absolutely not get anything going uh, I was just on an episode of Muskies on Tap. I'll leave a link for that below. And, and I was talking to those guys about some days you can't, how would you put it? The old saying of working smarter, not harder. Sometimes you have to just fish harder, not smarter, because you can use all the smarts that you have, everything you've learned over the years, and it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work and I don't know if it's because of a weather thing that maybe we weren't noticing or it's just because muskies are jerks sometimes and they just kick you in the pants I don't know what it was but uh, yeah folks uh, it happens every now and again and it happens more than every now and again it happens a lot actually unfortunately but that's musky fishing and uh, I suppose uh, as much as we would love these things to bite all the all day every day uh, it wouldn't make it a special when we do catch that big 50 incher or even a 30 incher I would have killed for a 30 inch muskie this day it would have been the best thing in the face of the planet so anytime guys uh, kind of look down on that little 36 incher or a 32 I would have killed for one of those any of these days we had four straight days on Eagle Lake on world-class water zero muskies we barely caught any pike. <laughs> I know this is probably a little bit of a disappointing video, but it's what I got. It's what I got. And I like to put videos up on what happened during that day. Uh, if I can get away without having to mush days together to make a video, I like to do that because it just it goes to show the reality of musky fishing. So if you've made it this far, I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, like I said, it gets better from here on out the last couple days, uh, especially the last two days. We get some really nice fish. 
It's almost the end of the year, so that means we have musky expos coming up. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing everybody at those. I will be at Chicago, Milwaukee, the PA Musky Max, and Wausau. So looking forward to seeing everybody at those. And with that, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess, and I'll see you on the next video.